hopefully it will empower people to stand up for themselves. And I get sent reports of good things that are apparently happening. But they're always the same reports that I get sent. They're always things that are imminent. There's always big changes on the horizon from mysterious forces that are working behind the scenes in our favour that are going to arrest the whole cabal and all sorts of stuff that I get told all the time. Stuff that I've been told back since 1976. I've been hearing reports about this sort of stuff. A lot of people write to me and they ask me what I think about disclosure and all of this sort of stuff as well. You know, ET disclosure and all this sort of thing. Folks, I've been hearing about ET disclosure since 1976, the same as everything else. And a lot of people ask me why don't I talk about things like ETs. Well, it's because I don't know anything about ETs, ladies and gentlemen. I've never met one. Do they exist? I have no idea at all. And I'm not going to go via hearsay. I'm just going to go by what I've experienced myself. I've often explained to people I have seen UFOs in the sky. I have seen flying craft, which were not identifiable. So therefore, it was an unidentified flying object. So therefore, it was a UFO by default. The question is, who drives it? Who was powering the thing? Where was it going? Where did it come from? Those questions I cannot answer. But what I do know is that sometimes there are mysterious things that are seen in the sky. Are they ETs? Are they multidimensional? Do they come from some other place on Earth that we don't know about? I have absolutely no idea where they come from. And that's why I don't really discuss the topic. But I've been hearing about imminent disclosure. I've been hearing about mysterious financial forces working behind the scenes. I've been hearing about white knights. I've been hearing about all sorts of stuff to keep us on the edge of our seat, to make us believe that there is someone coming to save us, and we don't actually have to do anything ourselves. I hear so much of this, and I have to tell you folks that I simply don't believe any of it anymore. I really don't. I mean, when people send me this sort of information, I look at it and I try to find something positive in it. I try to find something to look forward to. I try to see if it's something that I can believe in, something that's going to work, but none of it seems viable to me. And none of it seems like it's actually going to lead us anywhere. It just seems like it's going to lead us to another point that isn't going to be where we want to be. And I don't know what it's going to take for people to understand that they don't really need anyone to lead them to safety. All they need to do is to understand that they're the ones that hold the system up. You know, we hold it up through our tolerance of wrong behavior, through our willingness to do what people write down on paper rather than doing what is right. That's the problem. That's why the world is in the mess that it's in. Because we just do what we're told, and we don't question it. Admittedly, there's thugs there in Kevlar that threaten to put us in cages if we don't, but again, this comes down to the fact that we don't respect each other enough to have a united community to be able to stand up against this government system. Now, if we could just put down our differences with each other, we could change the world in a day. And that may sound weird to people. You couldn't possibly change the world in a day, but you could if everybody changed their attitude course nobody's really going to do that in a day so well it's not going to work but spreading that message and promoting that concept to people has got to lead somewhere I mean it's got to help people at least get along a little better and if people were able to get along a little better then we wouldn't need government that's the whole point that's why they promote all the division that's why they promote the division between nations as well because without a foreign enemy threatening your shores you don't need government if there isn't a threat, you don't need someone to look after you. It's as simple as that. And that's why government creates all these problems and they play each other off against each other and they pretend that they're a threat to each other so that the people think they need the government to look after them. But it's all one big play. Theatre for the masses works very well and they've been doing it for decades. They've been doing it for centuries, in fact. This is the way government has always run things. False flag terrorism and the installation of fear into the minds of the populace. It's a tried and true method, it achieves wonders, and it is a tool that government has used since time immemorial and continues to use today.